Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, and Erin. So, another it's been on Dean. Uh, so, thank you for everyone who pr- helped me in the comments with the pronunciation of this one. Because I said Ilaw, I L A W, but apparently it's Ilaw, is how it's pronounced. Cool. Which sounds so much nicer. It does. Erin and I did the wish fun. bus for this mm-hmm. and were stunned into silence. Which you know is not easy. <laughs> yeah. Fuss. Yeah. You want them around performing that all the time. You'll have to yeah. keep them quiet. <laughs> One stunned into silence. Two silent because if we spoke, we wouldn't be able to hear as clearly as what we were hearing. Mm, mm. <laughs> um, and people told us, obviously, the lyrics to this song are very important. Okay. So the Wish Bus doesn't have lyrics on it, mm. which is really annoying. So we're going to do the lyric video. And then we'll show you the Wish Bus performance of them singing it live. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm glad we get to see it again. Not that I haven't. Like, I was going to say, I, I've, I've no watched it quite a few times. Not that I haven't sat in bed with my phone yeah. to my face watching it like, oh my God. Oh, I was very pleased that you said after you like, you said that after you watched it, you're like, oh, we really should yeah. watch this with JD. Thank you I for thinking of me. I will confess the last time I watched it, it's two days ago, and I got a bit emotional. Oh, you cried, didn't you? I got a bit emotional. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe in the comments. Are there any other live performances of Elal that we should also be checking out? Or any other ballads of Amazing Vocal? Please. Literally, when we came away from it, they were like, there's this witch bus and this one and this one. And yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Mm. I mean, there may be many different layers of meaning in that, but the one that really stood out to me was that idea of several points, basically them saying, I'm right here asking for your help. I'm calling out for help. Why Why aren't you mm. listening? Why won't you do anything? Because like the line of why won't you, why won't you try opening a door that's not even closed it's Mm. almost like I'm right here telling you Mm. and you're still not listening Mm. it it just felt so lonely yeah Mm. but really sad for me some of those lines it felt like and I don't know where it came from what was inspired by or whatnot but um it felt like they were talking about like they didn't want to go home because potentially there's trouble within the home behind closed doors with the family because they were saying, here I am again walking towards my prison, but I have no choice. I have nowhere else to go. I said about having lost my keys again, as yeah. though it's a deliberate... Yeah, I don't I've want lost to my keys because I don't want to go yeah. there. I want any excuse to not go back to that place. Mm. And I I don't know if it's referring 
turbulence in a home life or what but if you can't escape because you've got nowhere else to live do you know what i thought with that though with the references to a blinding light i thought is that being in the public eye could be i wondered also if it was on their phone because one of those images there which was so sad was a young it looked like a young man or a person out in a hoodie on their phone in bare feet oh it was the bare feet it was the bare feet for me now again you have that a lot of culturally like um i've been to thailand many times lots of people walk around that you know it's just a cultural thing but also in that particular setting it felt more it was dark like uh like yeah it yeah. M- looked more like maybe they just they'd run away or they'd escaped or something but it was just so much more vulnerable yeah. And so that blinding light for me, I was like behind, behind the blinding light. I was like, I was wondering if it's their phone because again, in today's world, it's trying to connect yeah. with people on their phone, and that's the only light they've got. Oh, I thought of it as but, being in the public eye and that kind of because it was a reference to like almost behind that the real me, yeah, and all of this. Yeah. And then there was something about also the blinding light in a way being a comfort. And I thought, is that that kind of fandom? Of it feels like a prison, and I'm in the public eye, and I don't get a break, and all of this, mm. and then that idea of, but then also, what I get from that with the fans, actually, that is a positive, mm. and because there's a lot of references to needing a break and a pause, and like mm. when they said about what if we just like waited one week, yeah, like just give me, I am feel like I'm leaning more towards about it being about like their journey and their experience. Mm. Mm because I think I, I'm sure I must have seen a comment about referring to what they'd kind of been through. I have a really horrible feeling that this could be one like I found that emotional, but then I'm gonna find some things out as we get to know them more. Mm-hmm. And then that's gonna be like painful. Yeah, I have seen references lyrics. that they've not, I mean, I've not had an easy journey. Um, but we are going to do casual chucks um docuseries that he's made not oh, if it's going to make me sad yeah. we're not i don't, we're not, we're not <laughs> i think that's amazing though to learn about someone's what they put and how they put that into their art yeah. now although it is horrible to read about and whatnot but it it just usually just makes me grow so much more respect for them and that yeah. what they write about is from their experiences things like that but yeah it was um, um I really Mm. liked having the lyrics in Tagalog up there as well. Mm. Because for us, it is Romanized. Yeah. It makes sense. (laughs) Because that is it, Malapo. That when Pablo does that, when he holds, every time I listen to that song, and it's a lot, I get towards that bit and I'm like, oh, it's coming. Mm. It's my favourite bit of the song. You Mm. could really feel as it went. Because that mm. one he does there, it's just such a cry. Mm. And then everybody coming in after just is... It's very emotive. Yeah. There's lots of emotion just yeah. in the singing of it. And that's why, yeah, I'm not sure what it's referring to, but it's very painful. So the, when we watched it the first time, I was like blown away by their vocals. Then when I watched it like at home on my own, I was like, I think we talked about it a little bit, but I could really feel like there's so much meaning and Mm. like just emotion above and beyond it just being a performance Mm. and that's usually where you get the difference i'd like i know it's got emotion with it and i performed it it's different to i have lived this yeah Mm. and that screams of these are actual memories that we have put into lyrics Mm. And that's and also, for me, I think, that's the difference of an artist to a performer. I was going to say, the difference of someone who writes their own music. Mm-hmm. It's like, I can, when I'm performing this song, I can connect to how I felt when I wrote this, mm-hmm. when I went through this. And I don't know if it is Pablo's bit as well, but you know the bit where it really slows down and it's those really slow little couple of lines? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll still remember when we go into like the live, the Wish Bus performance, but I knew then that whatever those lines were, they were going to be the ones that were going to like, Start yeah. to blow it. and I could hear them, and I was like, "Oh!" And they were—they just—they make my chest ache because I want to just give these complete strangers a hug because yeah. I just want to go. I'm sorry that you felt like this, but thank you for sharing because you need songs like this. You need to know that you're not the only person 
who doesn't feel like anyone can see their pain because mm. that's what you said that yeah. line about uh, the door's already open it's like yeah. how can you not see that I'm suffering mm. yeah and are you oblivious am I so invisible am I mean nothing or do you not care yeah and that makes it oh my god just even even worse the, exactly it's the idea of not being noticed not being cared about either way they're both and which, yet you're being seen by people yeah. everyone loads of people are looking at you but no one's really and that like shouting out but it's a whisper like your voice you know when you have a dream and you try to like there's a disaster and you're trying to shout out but no words come out oh that is a the worst horrible feeling and to yeah see those what they represent to me of those words on the screen mm, was mm. just oh that. saying about the blinding light I kind of thought of it as like about on like a stage I know it doesn't work with like seeing behind it but obviously when you're on a stage the lights mm-hmm. are hitting you you're not seeing anything else so mm. you can kind of think about well I can't see beyond that the, the me beyond this performer yeah. But also, is that a good thing? Because would I be sad if I could maybe see that people either weren't happy or didn't like it? Is it better not to know, to not be able to yeah. see mm. that as well? I just got, when they said that, I just got a very like, strong like image of a stage and mm-hmm. just... I suppose you could say blinding light can also be that idea of trapped in the headlights. Yeah. Of just alone, I don't know what's around me what's going on which way to go it's do the uh the wish bus yeah the vocals on that were lovely obviously they're looking at the meaning and how sad it was but yeah the actual vocal yeah. journey it takes you on were lovely um so very intrigued to i have to say see that people live. um in the comments have said that they are better live than they are on a produced track mm. um and i definitely feel like if the wish bus had lyrics on it it would probably break me mm. oh yeah because but... i think there's something about seeing and hearing it mm. directly from them like that mm. that's yeah. powerful i'm hoping that my brain doesn't remember lyrics at certain places because yeah seeing and yeah understanding ouch mm. Why don't we have a wish bus? emotion all of their control is so good Wish. I'm not 
pagsinto Nag-iisip ng kung ano-ano Kailan bang laya ko dito? Still blows mm. me away. I've been watched it several times. Mm. Now I've got me too, but you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just. Mm. <gasps> Don't go get squeaky crying voice. <laughs> you know when you were saying about like, oh, is it like Pablo that wrote it? about like whether yeah. it was just like god she's even got teary eyes you think <laughs> bro <laughs> that never happens jesus and i didn't want to say i know we kind of were like oh it's all of them but what i didn't want to say is remembering watching that mm. there is no way the emotion in their voices is is manufactured like no like no, no. you can hear when they are producing those yeah yeah those notes yeah Oh my god! I know I said that slow bit, and it was Josh, and then yeah, and then it comes in with the the big crescendo, and yeah. Um, oh, I really, really something that struck shit. me this time watching it though was that I don't want to set you off even more. No. The way they've set up and performed it there. Mm. They've all got their eyes shut. I was thinking no that. one it's is interacting with anyone. Completely different for Gento. It's all, it's lonely. It's yeah. everyone. No one looks at each other. No. Like I say they've all got their eyes shut. It's completely. You can isolating. literally see is the pain in each one of them as they're singing. Yeah. But when they're not singing, and someone else is. They're listening, and they are feeling. It's completely different to yeah. Gento when they were all sharing that yeah. vibe. But this was very much not only their own story and what it meant to them, but then potentially listening to the pain yeah. of their one of their brothers. So it was, it was, you're right, it was completely different. Still, I noticed that as well. Watching, so that, my favourite bit of the song is obviously, I say Pablo's note that he hits, and that cry. But after that, when they're all singing layered together, mm. and it sounds so amazing. But for me, I'm a bit like, because they've all got their eyes shut, and because of the way they've done that, when they're all singing like that, it is almost like, you could say around the world, all these people are crying out at once. But they don't know about each other, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's is, interesting. Is, is there like, is that about I'm shouting out yeah. and it's a whisper and like, it really makes sense. So it's like really large belting, like yeah. the cr- like almost like crying. Mm, they're like cries, and it's yeah. like, still, are you even hearing me now? Yeah. So we talked um, 
about how much oh no I talked about a lot I love the gravel in Pablo's voice Mm. and I think I wonder if that was how do you know I mean I know sometimes I make a choice on let's add some gravel in this bit of the song because it sounds good or whether it's just a naturally this is the sound the emotion brings in my voice like when mm. your voice breaks yeah mm. so when I sing this I could never sing it clear because the emotion I have when I sing it gives it that sound mm. it makes it more raw I want to go back to what I didn't know when I was just like oh my god they all sound so amazing. <laughs> I mean you could tell but there was one thing I remember we just spoke about when we first watched it was obviously we were like oh yeah like Ken's a rapper and he starts with this like beautiful vocal mm. we're like oh really shocked but then obviously when you get towards like and he does a little bit of rap with all the vocals yeah. over it it's mm. just they are so I'm I'm a he, bit scared like I, I feel like they could throw anything I would at us, maybe. say mm. Ken's solo is the ones I'm most intrigued to see because we've seen him rap, but the vocals he did in this, I'm a bit like, I think you've got a massive range. Mm. And so I'm really intrigued to see what you've done in your solo work. Yeah, he's like a baritone, but then he'll flip it. He's a little bit like V from BCS I mean, that's down, him. but can go up high in that falsetto. Yeah, so obviously like the emotion, everything was lovely, but just watching their technique as well for that delivery it's it's effortless technique they're they're very very good and so that's again what i thought last time i watched them, i was like they've been doing this a while then yeah. it's not their first rodeo but they've also been trained very very well on top of natural talent so yeah like they're they're obviously putting effort into it and it's a lot of it that emotional journey putting it into mm-hmm. that but technically their technique and their microphone control and everything their breath control and they're all doing those belts sitting down so it's it's fantastic like yeah. A, yeah so again although it was like this is so sad. but at the same time i was like this is amazing <laughs> do you see what i mean about um when we first watched i said about stell mm. he has there is a certain i said like uh some men in drunk like there is a certain vibration i feel like where he does certain notes and i i still can't it, necessarily place what it is but i mm. There's certain tones that are very pleasing to the brain. Yes, yeah. and I really, this was obviously the when I noticed it and like coming back to it. Oh, I was very emotional, but still, I think there's the rounding of some of those notes. Yeah, and I'd also said like with Justin, like hearing the language and there's an R mm. that he I rolls. I get very mm. excited to hear that rolling R. Yeah. His, his mouth is so clean. I the was, way he Yeah, I get with, fascinated watching his the, mouth yeah. and apples of his cheeks i'm like how mm. do you get that <laughs> yeah all of them their pronunciation around mm. the language is beautiful and this is what we said because it's not one that we're i wouldn't say i'm familiar with korean but like i have consumed more of it yeah i wasn't sure you know how much is just how a language is supposed to sound versus how much is what they're doing with it yeah. mm. but i feel like coming the little bits that we have seen, I'm like, oh, okay. Because doing something. Mm. later on in the song, Josh does the same lines and he rolls the R as well, but not as much. Mm. Yeah. So it seems that some of it is language, some of it might be a choice on how or like how you take that. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It might be different, yeah. different areas. And the but same it? you would have in Western music as well is the delivery and then the creative mm. choice of a style. Um, but yeah, and then like, I want to hug me. Josh. He's got, that I mean, all, of, bit, I was all like, of them oh, have, but he's got really expressive eyebrows. Yeah. You know how, you know, like just some people are more, yeah. like his eye, his face is so expressive. Yeah. Like when that bit, when it panned out and they were all singing together and I looked at each one of them and they all looked in pain. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're, they're, that's their individual. And his face is so expressive. I feel like I, if I had been in the room, I hope there was no one else in that room other than like, there was a static camera. And that was it. I hope no one else was it on that bus. Mm. But I feel like the air in that room would be still. Mm. He'd like a nice <laughs> hug or something, which I never normally say. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.